Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. And Apple has released iOS 16 developer beta 6 and also at the same time public beta 4. So this comes just one week after the release of the previous beta and it really looks like Apple is working on refining iOS as we're getting pretty darn close to a final release here uh, just next month. So in this video, I'm gonna go over everything new in iOS 16 developer beta 6 and also public beta 4. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. So jumping right in, the first thing I noticed was the update on my iPhone at least was a lot smaller. So coming from beta four to developer beta five, as you may remember, that was over a gigabyte. And now here updating to beta six, it was about half that size, around 400 to 500 megabytes, depending on your iPhone. I did notice that my phone got a lot less hot when I was updating and the update was also a lot faster to complete, which is nice. It means Apple's making a lot of refinements in the background. I also did notice something really small when you look at the build number, the build number ends in B now, which means Apple is getting really close to a final release. Now, if you don't know what that means, uh, for the history of iOS betas, Apple usually works their way up the alphabet, eventually ending in A, and then the final release of iOS 16 won't have any letter attached to it at all. So the fact that we are now on B and hopefully the next release will be A, it just means that we are really getting close to a final gold master release of iOS 16. So one of the first changes I found here is inside of the wallpaper settings. So when you click on customize either below your lock screen or your home screen, previously in beta five, after you hit customize, you would have a pop-up at the bottom of your screen asking if you wanna customize your current wallpaper or add a new wallpaper. And that was kind of redundant because there's a new wallpaper button right here. So now in beta six, as soon as you click on customize, it brings you right into the editor where you can change your wallpaper. So it's really nice that you can now jump right into the screen immediately instead of going through that extra step. So here's another really nice change that I do like. So whenever I'm watching a YouTube video or something on Netflix and I'm in landscape mode, I sometimes want to check my notifications or check the time just by swiping. And now in beta six, as you can see, Apple has completely redesigned uh, what your notification screen looks like in landscape mode. So before the time was really small and it was kind of in the status bar and your date was kind of crammed up into the top right. It didn't really make sense, but I like this two tier layout now on beta six. So I think this is what it's gonna be like upon final release of iOS 16 as this looks a lot better than what they had previously. Okay, so here is another small change. And when I say small, I do mean small because this is a very tiny tweak. But here on the left is beta five and on the right is beta six. Can you see a difference? Uh, I know it's small, but Apple has changed the size of the album art. So as you can see here on beta five, the album art got kind of close to the time and the playback controls. And here on beta six, the padding around the controls and the clock uh, just looks a little better. So Apple made a few tweaks in terms of the spacing. And in my opinion, it does look a little bit better. So a few very small tweaks here on the lock screen when you are playing music. And the last change I found in beta six has to do with the default home screen layout. If you set up a brand new iPhone and you set it up from scratch and you don't restore from an iCloud backup, this is what your second page of apps is going to look like now. So you'll have a first page with a few widgets on it. And then if you swipe over to your next page of default apps, this is what it's gonna look like. And Apple has added the fitness application into your list of default apps right on your home screen. Now this is important because Apple now allows you to track your activity even if you don't have an Apple Watch. And before the fitness application wouldn't show up on your iPhone unless you had a paired Apple Watch. And now since you don't need an Apple Watch to close your move ring, the fitness app is now here by default on iOS 16. So that's gonna do it for all the changes I could find in iOS 16 beta six and also public beta four. If you were holding off updating until it was a bit more stable, I'd say there's no better time than now as battery life seems fantastic and this is the most bug-free experience I've had on iOS 16. So if I missed anything in this update, make sure to comment down below and let me know. If you guys found this video interesting or helpful, make sure to drop a like on it as well. My name is Michael with IDB. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.